now, uh, welcome to the big breakfast. I hope you're enjoying the. Uh, enjoy Thank you very much indeed, Donnery. I hope you're enjoying the first hour. It's been a tremendous first hour. I feel down here. Jason Biggs is with us this morning. Yeah. 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 Star, American and now loser, uh, which I saw the other day. Morning, Jason. Welcome back to the house. Johnny, how you doing? Not too bad. Nice to have you down here. Thanks for having me back. Life been good to you? Everything's going very well. Thank oh. you. It's going swingingly. I bet it is. How long are you over in Britain for? Uh, I leave tonight. I came here on Saturday afternoon. Okay. Well, short you, but sweet. And you've had a good week here? Very good weekend. What have you been filling your time? What have you been doing? Uh, well, a lot of press. A lot and, of press. And I, I, had a, I had a day off the other day. That's and good of them. They gave you a day off. They, nice, gave, nice. they gave me a day off, and, and I just roamed around town. And Did you go to the Dome? N no. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, well, we're it's funny, we haven't had one positive later. answer to that yet. I'm waiting for anyone who's visited the Dome. Okay. All right, still to come on this morning show. <laughs> Jason Biggs is coming up at 8.20. At 8.30, we meet two men who laugh in the face of fear on a daily basis. They are Britain's only two monster hunters. Uh, there's one of them at the back there, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, Yay. that's right. And speaking... Morning, John. And here's the other. And there's the other there. Thank you very much. And speaking of little monsters, I've got my little helpers in the house. Uh, yeah. You all right, gang? You all right? having an OK morning? Helen, are you having an all right morning, gang? Yes, fine. Uh, do you speak for the group or just your shoulder? Do you think they're having a nice morning? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't know what they think. No, thanks. Thanks. All right. Um, <laughs> and uh, we'll show off the best of the 2001 calendars, some of which uh, you'll have to leave the room for because they are deeply <laughs> pornographic. We'll be having a um, look at those a little bit later. Absolutely right. Do you know what, right though? Now. Here's someone who's always absolutely decent and well-dressed. She is Sometimes. Jasmine Lowson, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good morning. These are the main stories on Tuesday, the 24th of October. Big Brother's back, but watching you this time. Brad joins the chorus for a charity gig. And the general also aims to make a killing at the record store. Be warned if your bosses aren't already spying on your office email or phone calls, they can from today with the backing of a new British law. Human rights lawyers are rubbing their hands with glee at the prospect of a flood of complaints. The government says the new law strengthens employers' rights because it limits what bosses can spy on. Unions see it rather differently. American forces have been put on a state of heightened alert in Turkey and the Gulf states. It follows fresh terrorist threats against American forces and citizens in the region. The finger is being pointed at Saudi exile Osama bin Laden, who was indicted for several bomb attacks on US targets. There's more speculation about the government's ideas for handling the next threatened fuel blockade. A leaked document suggests that rural folk will be offered rebates on petrol duty, as already given to fuel-efficient companies in country areas. Brad Pitt's been snatched to appear on an upcoming charity record. He'll join the likes of Russell Crowe, Keanu Reeves and Bruce Willis on a CD to raise money for, rather appropriately, a Hollywood wildlife charity. It's not known what he'll sing, although Keanu and Russell will be performing tracks from their respective bands, Dogstar and 30 Old Foot of Grunt. Here's the score. Leeds United are hoping to overcome their injury crisis and qualify from their Champions League group tonight. They take on Barcelona at home with eight first-team regulars sidelined. Meanwhile, it's suggested that Ryan Giggs could captain Manchester United for their clash with Anderlecht. Yesterday, we gave you a man who played a flute through his nose. Today, a warmonger who swapped bullets for ballads. Former Indonesian Army Chief General Wiranto, blamed for inciting murder across East Timor, has recorded an album of love songs. Proceeds will go to people left homeless by the massacres. He must be all heart after all. That's the Big Breakfast News. Simon's at the house.